Okay, sorry, I got cut off somehow from the last one, but um, and then I have a couple of new things here in this pot. This was my root pot, if you recall. There was really nothing in this pot other than my beets over here, which are getting fairly big and doing good. And then I have another um, strip right here of beets that I'm also growing. And then I have some, um, some crookneck squash, which I actually love squash. Didn't think I did. I think younger, um, my grandma had made some squash and it was like overcooked. I didn't like it. But now I actually love squash now that I can cook it myself. Um, I have some herbs here. I have one of my favorite basils and it's a Thai basil because I love Thai food. And one thing I want to kind of let you know is that you can always find out what kind of herb it is. You don't have to like rip it off. You don't have to do that what some people do. If you just rub the leaf, put a little pressure on it and you rub it. Mmm, and you smell it? That's basil. That smells like Thai basil. Everything makes me want some. I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch. And then back here, have a little stevia plant. So if you know anything about stevia, stevia is a natural sweetened plant. So instead of using sugar or, or um, agave, which is also a natural cactus, sweetened cactus, you can use stevia. So I can't wait till um, I, you know, make maybe a tea and instead of putting sugar in it, I can just put my stevia in it. So very, very exciting. And if you see, remember, this is my potatoes. Remember it was just a little, little seedling and I said it, it flowers after a while, but it has flowered. I haven't looked under here yet. Um, Maybe I'll look with you all to see if there's anything to be seen. Let's see. Hold on. I'm scared. Nope. I won't do it. All right. So over here is, of course, my tomatoes, which there's tomatoes all over the place. There's tomatoes everywhere. I can't even keep up with the tomatoes anymore. They're just, they're just popping up, you know. Um, look at that. Oh, and my one and first only is starting to turn red. I'm so excited. So, over here, and I've got a little steak thing. Instead of buying that cage, I feel like the cage is so eh, big and monstrous and atrocious. And I got just a little steak, and the steak actually just circles around. I, I did it so they can stay together um, in, in holy matrimony um, and it's doing fairly well got this little sign here that says happiness must be grown in one's own garden and I can tell you happiness is definitely grown in this garden because I am a super happy when I'm out here it's definitely um, awesome um, now what if you notice that area where I had took the plants from I realized um, because I always smell the leaves on things and I noticed the smell something told me to smell the leaves I smelled the leaves and guess what they were tomatoes I had seeds from tomatoes and I actually didn't realize it didn't think didn't have any ideas whatsoever and they have grown up so I have five of them, five tomato, baby tomato plants right now that I'm actually going to be giving away because there's really no need to have all of these tomato plants. You know, even this one over here is, is starting to, you know, show its flowers and, and do its thing and, you know, just a really nice little thing here. Got some of my peppers. My peppers are definitely flourishing. My different peppers, I really can't wait to see something actually grow on them um and then my friend she has her her little um flower garden here which she feels like I have this green thumb so if I touch they weren't growing for a while but I guess I touched them and they were resuscitated but I feel it was just some patience that needed to be taken this is going to be iris so there's actually one two three four five five iris plants that are 
about to come up, which is really nice. And there was iris plant over here, but it wasn't getting enough water, I don't think, because when I pulled it out, the roots were very dry. So I went and bought some um, marigold, I'm not marigold, um, morning glory, morning glory seeds, planted them. And I planted these seeds on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Planted these seeds on Sunday, and it is what? Thursday and what do we see we already see seedlings so um with with the right you know amount of flowering and watering and nurturing and love you can see some stuff grow so it didn't take long to make this grow so that this is my little you know what I use I use a, a mixture of stuff I have a little compost not a compost but a mixed bucket in here that actually I mix mix things up I have some um, some compost I have this garden soil which of course actually after I purchased it it had this thing on here that kind of scared me it said um, where is it it has something on here that says that you should not put it in um, containers and I said well I bought you now so you're gonna work in container today and then I have this potting mix. Potting mix is always, they say, potting mix is always better than potting soil. So I have this huge bag that I use. And then I have, you know, of course, my, my fertilizer, my herb and root plant food. And then I have this stuff right here from my um, local garden supply store, this garden tonic, which is like a compost tea. And then, of course, I have this dirt diet, which I haven't been using lately, so I don't know what, what that is. And then I bought gloves, but of course I don't use them. I like to get my own nails dirty. And then I bought this little, because I started to realize that I'm a, I'm a bit obsessive. I'm, a, I'm an obsessive type of personality sometimes, especially when I'm doing new things. I started to find that I was buying lots and lots of um, seeds. So, um, I decided to make an inventory, and so I have lots of different types of seeds, and um, I'm going to be putting them in different bags and labeling them and putting information on there so I can keep up with what I have, and in the back there I have my little journal so that I can keep track of exactly what I'm, what I'm um, planting at what times and things like that, but, but um, this is my garden victoriously doing well we love it and thank you happy gardening